show you how to fit the uh, the Minecraft Estic uh, pneumatic HPA system into the Type 41. So first, you need to break it down to that stage. So you might not have the scope on, but that is the receiver where the bolt normally goes. So we got bolt a bit there. And so you need to break it down to that stage where the barrels completely are. And then uh, you can actually begin. So, one thing that I would recommend, this is the brass bit that you get, which um, holds the trigger system in. I was told to try a different way, and that is to uh, drill out a hole into the side of it so that the, um, the HPA cable isn't going to be uh, protruding past the trigger and then getting in the way. This this way uh, actually gets rid of that problem by rooting it into the uh, pistol grip of the uh, rifle itself. So there's that. And you'd also, in fact that you'll need to Dremel a small hole just in that bit there. Which again that's where the trigger normally will be. Otherwise the cable will be coming out of uh, this side here which is a bit awkward. Right. So first, get any bolt with nothing in it, it's completely empty. Feed that in. Easy. And then you need to get the uh, the HPA parts. Mainly this part first needs to go in with the cable first, which definitely makes it a bit difficult. But we'll see how easy I can make it look. So. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, not that way. So, you're essentially forcing it through the hole where usually the uh, trigger retention system would go. If I can get it to go in. Okay, right, so once you're pushing it through, you need the cable to stick through that part there and then feed the uh, rest of it through nice and easily. Feed it through from the front to the back, and it'll, it'll go through very easily. Okay, right, once you get to that stage. I don't want to be pushing that through because that will make it a bit difficult. <laughs> Quite fiddly to get sorted first time around, right. Feed it through. I may have cut my hand. Right, then what you need to do with these two pieces, get that spring on there. This part with this bit going to the bottom. Feed it straight down. It's going to be uh, tension for the spring. Feed this part on. Press it down and twist. You don't need to make it fully tight, but hand tighten it so the spread so the threads are not visible anymore. Right, so now you're at that stage. This is where it'll get tricky because it is a bit fiddly. So you need to feed this part. Yeah, this needs to go in. Right, and then you essentially need to get that tube to stick through the other bit. I was uh, using some pliers. Let me just find them. Where do I put them? There they are, underneath me. Right. 
It doesn't matter if you damage it because there's quite a lot of uh, tube in anyway, so just pull it through. And it will be uh, Once it's pulled through, you should be able to just feed it through nice and easily. I say, but I can't do it. Uh, right, so we pull it through. It's very tight. Probably could have done with Dremel on it a bit further, but it's fine. As long as I'm not cutting the tube, I'm not too bothered. Right. Over there, come on. Do you want the hole going to the back of the rifle? Perfect. So, as you can see, it comes out literally just underneath where it's supposed to come from. Perfect. Now, uh, refit the trigger system, and I should feed this. So uh, I go down, push that to like one of the sides, and then it's not in the way of the trigger. If it gets in the way of the trigger, it's going to be a bit of a problem. But we'll see once I screw it on. Oh, it seems to be uh, not getting in the way too much. Quick test shot, see if it's blocking the uh, trigger. So. Yep, yeah, it seems to be pulling on the trigger a little bit. Just loosen these two screws a little bit and it should uh, ease that tension off. What we need, we need it not to be interfering. So perfect. Now to fit the barrel back on. Get these nice in there. Screw it on there, not too tight. Just enough so they uh, hold it in place. You don't want it to be too tight so you can't take it off. This is where it might get a bit difficult. So I want to be feeding the uh, cable through the hole that I drilled at the start, which is just behind the pistol grip again, just in there. 
speed it through. Nice and easy. Okay. Alright. Now I don't know if this will fit. Uh, I'd imagine it will. fitting that in a minute. Let's have a look. Let's see how well this fits. Naturally, it's not something built to have HBA, but it can be fitted. Like so, obviously I'm going to get that piece back in there so it fits, so at least now it does go in. Hmm. Wait a minute, I might need to drill a hole in this bit as well. No, I won't be able to manage it without that, let's have a look. Go. Let's get this back on so it doesn't fall off. Missing a screw somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Right. So now it's on to yeah, fitting the two screws back in. That hold the rifle together. Just inside the magwell. Screw that, screw there. Built the cable nice and fitted. Let's make sure. Right, and there we have it. Didn't take too long. If you were to feed the tube through there, it comes out sort of here. And what I did originally was fold it up and then go into this part here where you can see this little hole. Which it got in the way, so I've tried it this way and it looks like it's going to be an absolutely perfect fit. Thanks for watching.